Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe Photoshop CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to render a video with transparency, or with an alpha channel, a video that has no background. All you have to do is go up to the top menu, click on File, Export, Render Video. Give your file a name, select the folder or the destination to where you want to save the video. In this dropdown, make sure you select Adobe Media Encoder. For the format, click on the dropdown and select QuickTime. For the preset, you're gonna keep it to animation, high quality. I'm gonna keep this at document size, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. You can change the frame rate of your video. It's currently set to document size, but you can select from any one of these presets. I'm just gonna keep it as is. I'll keep all this section the same. I'm gonna keep the range at all frames. The most important setting, if you want to export a video without a background or with transparency is down in the render options and you're looking for alpha channel. By default, the alpha channel is set to none, which means you're going to render this video without including the alpha channel. So if I were to export this video without the alpha channel, I am gonna get a black background behind the video. But our goal is to render the video without a background or with the alpha channel. So then you can place any background you want and it's gonna show through onto that video. And if you find that the alpha channel dropdown menu is grayed out, meaning you can't select something, that means that your format is probably set to the H.264. So you need to change that to QuickTime in order to be able to change the alpha channel then you can click on the drop down menu and I'm gonna change it from none to straight unmatted. And I will leave a link in the description if you want to learn more about what these are, but the straight unmatted is going to give me probably the most accurate color. So I'm gonna select straight unmatted. I'll keep 3D quality the same and then click on render. You should see a progress dialog box after clicking render. And once it's finished, when I go to my desktop, there is my exported video. Now the QuickTime or the .mov format can be a little quirky. So if you try to do a quick look or preview on a Mac, for example, and you don't see the preview, don't worry, the video is still gonna work if you bring it into a video editing program. Here I am in ScreenFlow 10. I'm just gonna drag the video from my desktop right onto my timeline. There you can see it imports in, no problem. The animation is working and I can place any background I want under that video and it's going to show through. Here I am inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll drag that video right onto the timeline. You see it comes in without the background, perfect. And that is how to render a video with transparency in Adobe Photoshop CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.